Hello. We're just kind of jumping straight into this one. <laughs> no silly preamble. Okay. I'm just quickly checking my mic settings. Microphone, USB, microphone. Yep. Uh, that's all correct. What just happened there? But let's get playing. Oh, would love to, but okay. need to quickly check me phone. Bear with me a moment, good folks. Make sure my foot radiator is on because it is quite cold in here again this evening. <clears throat> Just talk amongst yourselves, I'm sure we'll be fine. Ooh, damn, I am chilly. Yeah, uh, I would say the weather's been quite nice recently, but it, um, it has dropped a bit today. It's not been, like, super cold, but uh, there has been a bit of a wind, and I think the wind chills just had a bit of an effect. Also, I'm a bit tired, so I'm probably just feeling the effect of that a little bit. I'll be getting an earlier night tonight, because I've got a big run tomorrow. Hey, what's up, Darren? Good to see you. Just making sure things are running correct on my side. Oh, so I'm just being as now. Oh, pick up some steak. Very nice. Yeah, I've not long finished eating. <laughs> I'm perfectly honest, I've not been eating the best. Uh, had like all my food prepared and then I just got kind of hungry and I went shopping on the way home and picked up some bread. There was uh, like some ham and things on sale, like in clearance, so picked up some stuff there. So I've had a couple of sandwiches as well as my stir fry and then ended up eating one of the chocolate eggs I was <laughs> in theory keeping for Easter, but honestly it was just a small Easter egg. So I probably do better getting a larger one. Anyway, we're in the mines now. See, our uh, former employer uh, tried to kill us and steal the artifacts and he's messing around with powers he doesn't quite understand. Perhaps, anyway. Uh, Dad, I'm going to get another call. <laughs> oh, dear. Still so angry. Oh. Hope things are okay. Oh, yeah, I remember now. There's, um... You kind of go around in circles for a bit if you keep going that way. There's uh, a door or something you have to fall back on. There we go. Ah, dude, I hope it's uh, nothing serious. Oh, well, I fucked that one up quickly. tea or coffee this evening because I'm continuing my caffeine cut down.
Uh, I cannot see my message above the road rage. No. Uh. No. Nothing. Nothing came up. Um. Maybe uh, maybe something got filtered out like automatically, perhaps. Fight, oh. Damn, dude. You all right? Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, just gonna check the chat settings. Just a second. Uh, some messages such as potential spam may not be visible. I don't know. Maybe something you, maybe something you typed uh, flagged up. I know I am. Um, I didn't know if YouTube did that, but I know some other things I've used um, with like live chat features will just uh, automatically pick up on certain things if certain languages use uh, may think it's offensive or whatever and will just automatically censor it. So I don't know if maybe that happened. I'll send you the screenshot message. Yeah, cool. Uh, when I get that, I'll uh, I'll take a look. Well, that is what happened. That is interesting because I didn't know YouTube did that. No. It's a couple of those mutants getting torched. Yeah, I definitely can't see it. Yeah, there's a uh, maybe it's uh, something to do with uh, the chat. Just look at my stream settings. Cause I'm curious now. Okay, I probably don't want to mess around with the settings while I'm streaming, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, let's have a look. Ah, okay. Taxi driver, alright. Yeah, that didn't uh, show up on the chat at all. Um, when the stream's over, I'm going to have a look at my chat settings, because maybe there's like a, a hold for inappropriate content or something on it. So I can't remember if the guys in this level attack you or not, like the flamethrower guys. No, he doesn't seem to be bothering me, so i um, rather not tussle with the flamethrower, so I'll just leave him be. Oh. Yeah, as long as you're alright, dude. Old vision, new vision. Oh god, I remember this bit. There's a, um, this is a, um, <laughs> like the stereotype kind of minecart sequence. Some of this can be a pain in the arse. So the uh, the meteorite powers are really like mutating a bunch of these people. So, oh, 
Oh, you bastard. Okay, at least it wasn't far back I saved. I'm just going to walk right past the friendly guy with the flamethrower. And we'll deal with that freak again. Yeah, it takes me to calm down angry like that. Up with some steak. Well, that's fine. Now you need an Easter egg, and I probably shouldn't have. I use the excuse that I'm doing a 28 kilometer run tomorrow, so I'm just fueling myself, though I'm pretty sure um, that doesn't apply to chocolate. Okay, I'm going to get into this cart now, though I fear Kind of surprised I didn't get killed there, because I seem to remember these things being a pain in the arse. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're kind of in the excavation area here. Still on Olica though, so uh, gotta be careful in that water, because you'll freeze to death. Okay, I'm not going to bother reaching for those, they're just flyers. I think I need a keycard or something for this, do I? Chocolate egg. Um, what was it? Uh, chocolate egg was very nice. Uh, I didn't know this. Um, I always kind of thought uh, chocolate tastes weirdly better in egg form, but then... Um, my partner helpfully informed me it's because there's a. Uh, they actually add some oil to it to help form it into the egg shape, so I think that's uh, what makes it taste a bit different. Ooh. Alright, so this is a diving bell. Well, there might have been some items in here, there isn't, but I think we have to do something to move this a bit lower down. Hmm. Oh, God, yeah, I love, love Easter eggs. I've only bought, um, I've only bo bought us that one egg each so far, but I'll probably at least get a couple more before the, the kind of time is over. I'll probably just wait till after... Easter is finished, and then just hit them in the sales and buy them all really cheap. Okay. I don't think I have to be in this area yet, because I need something to activate that crane to drop the diving bell down a bit. So I think I just have to get back in here. Oh. 
Oh yeah, if you don't pull the brake, um, you'll the cart will come off the end. So let's try that again. See, that's what I remember from this level: getting fucking killed in the cart constantly. I think I also have to um, whack a lever there with the wrench to change the cart's direction. Oh, I think this is going to be the, the real tedious section of this level. How do you like your steak? Very rare. In fact, I will even sometimes take a steak blue. I like it almost raw. <laughs> kind of like it when it's uh, soft and chewy, but still a little bit cooked. So I'll usually go for rare because um, sometimes, sometimes if you ask for a blue steak, they'll sometimes just give you raw, like. Um, not very good with it, depending where you go, so. Best bet rare for me. Holy shit, man, you have to time that so fucking precisely. It's like, well, again, it's, it's kind of like the vehicle sections of this game. It's just the most frustrating part of the old Tomb Raider series. Because you have to just hit them exact. Oh yes, and always with peppercorn sauce. Don't forget that. with me uh, trying to save here. Sure, why not? See, didn't get it there. Is that worth saving again? I think it is. Yeah, I think that's a death trap. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that one again. <laughs> Though I do like how this is just very reminiscent of uh, Temple of Doom. Fuck me, man. Fried egg with your steak, that's a good idea. It's not quite the same kind of steak, but now you've got me thinking about gammon, like a good gammon steak with some pineapple on. 
Uh, do you know, they had some uh, pineapple in the discount section of the fucking supermarket that was in on the way back home. I was tempted, I really should have just got some. God, the hit detection's just unforgiving in this game. In fact, I am going to save again here because just so I don't have to repeat that little section. I actually got out of it. Let's go to the Wild Spoons Mixed Grill sometime. Oh god, yeah. I uh, quite like it. It's not the healthiest thing. Uh, not Wild Spoons, I mean. I mean something else. Um, but it's like, if I'm travelling around the UK, um, sometimes I'll go to McDonald's, say for breakfast, for nothing else. That it's just kind of reliable and I know what I'm getting and relatively cheap. Uh, but same with Weatherspoons, if I do need to go, like, kind of food for food anywhere in the UK, if there's a Weatherspoons, that'll be, like, probably the first place I'll go to. Like, I like the steaks, uh, burgers, and again, you, you kind of just know what you're getting. Alright, so we travelled around that little minecart section there, which, uh, honestly, was really didn't have to do yet. Oh, I know there's a couple of mutants down here. Just remembering the game, so... Let's just have the guns ready. Mm, nice bit of steak, garment, sausage, pork, chuck, egg, chips, yeah. Dad, you know, egg and chips is just one of my favourite, like, simple meals. Used to be a cafe, used to go to in town, I don't think it's there anymore. Kind of kind of cheap, cheerful food, but just egg and chips. Going there, like, semi-regular for that. Nice, if not, like, super healthy breakfast. Alright, let's see if this minecart leads us anywhere. I mean, it's going to lead us somewhere, of course. It's just it's going to be the same way useful. Ah, uh, shit. I think I'm going to die. Yes, I am. Ah, I'm glad it's the weekend, though. Oh, I forgot I also ate crumpets today. <laughs> when I got in the house, um, I do have a weakness for crumpets. I don't have them super often, but I will. I will probably either pack it if you let me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Probably just going to do the same thing where I'm going to wait till the cart's a little bit further ahead and just save the game. This game really is more challenging than the first two. Get... There we go. Alright, I'm saving that. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Hey, I like how it just sudden stops. I'm surprised it doesn't just make you go fucking flying forward with the, um, just a, just the sudden clunk, like just the force. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is the hardest of the trilogy, without a doubt. I like how I'm calling it the trilogy, which, yeah, sure, they, it kind of is, but for some reason, like, trilogy to me implies that there's only three games. There isn't. I actually counted it up before. There are 12 official entries in this series. Okay. In fact, even though it's not as nice and polished as, um, well, the new versions, which I'm playing here, I am thinking I might just uh, jump straight onto 4 after this. This still about when it came out, no game guides or online to help. Uh, well, there would have been a uh, late 90s, a very few people would have had computers, and probably even less so with, like, internet access with, you know, guides to follow. Yeah, there, there was game guides. I mean, I've I've got them behind me. Yeah, it had like hints and tips in magazines as well as the uh, the official books, which uh, you know have a few of them here. Just pick it up. Um, yeah, like this. I mean, this is for a last revelation, the fourth game. But yeah, no, you had these kind of stuff. The uh, like the premier official strategy guides. remember if uh, Last Revelation is harder or easier than this one. Might be about the same. I just I do remember there's some sections in that I just had to play constantly. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I think uh, magazines back in the day, um, I especially remember like PlayStation Magazine, that was a... Uh, that's one you would pick up for like the newest games and hints and tips, especially if it was advertising. Like walkthrough guides. Can't remember what's in this space. Jesus, what the fuck? God oh, damn, how did I forget about that? That was actually quite an effectively placed horror jump scare there. Somehow forgot all about that in this game. Well played, TR3. You almost dropped your sick. Oh, well, good thing you didn't. Oof. Damn, I forgot that was that monster type. Well, enemy type, so to say. 
I know there's one, I can't remember if it's later in this level or maybe the next one. There is one that flies and is also toxic, so you have to kind of watch out for that. Couldn't remember these big burly fuckers though. Alright, I wonder if maybe there's something secret down here. God damn, I wonder if this is good for like people with full percentage of epilepsy. Maybe I should put a warning on this stream. Oh well, got some shotgun shells and a rocket. Uh, I feel like it was more rewarding these days, you can just go on YouTube, watch exactly how to do the part you're stuck on. Yeah, yeah. Definitely more challenging back in the day. I mean, even like, you know, getting, say, like, PlayStation or, like, PC Gamer Magazine for, like, advice. It's still a bit more effort, like, doing that, reading through it. Because especially in the magazines, even though there are, like, descriptions and things, they're not, like, super detailed. Oh, shit. Not see what the fuck is going on in here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that big foot <laughs> Ah, uh, who knows, maybe Bigfoot's just a, a mutant that was affected by some magical meteorite. Oh god, I just realised, that's like, that's like half the enemies in Smallville, or, um, fucking meteorite mutants. Like a big yeti monster or something. Hopefully I don't have to run into too many more of those. Because they are bullet sponges. But I feel like I should probably save my progress just in case. What is this? Oh yeah, I still need to prepare my overnight oats, I forgot about that. Oh, oh, wait, 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 okay. Is this a new area? Uh, I feel there might be some of those weird mutant seal monsters. What? What is it? Blood. Hope this isn't meteorite mutants' blood. An Easter egg. Hope this is not Enrico's Easter egg. Yeah. 
Is that an Easter egg? Oh, wrong voice there. <laughs> okay. Is that an Easter egg? Yeah. Oh, god damn. I, um... I remember the last boss in this game is pretty tough. But I can't remember if I got to use a whole lot of ammo on them, and I honestly, I can't be bothered with these fuckers, so I'm tempted just to shotgun this one. I got a shotgun. Alright. Eh, at least I got some decent loot off him. Oh, how long are we streaming? I, I said I wouldn't stream for too long. I know I say that a lot, but I really meant it this time. Uh, degree of need to play it fully myself. Uh, review Dad said, Do you ever just stop and think about how Alien Isolation is perfect video game? Jane wants a piece of the horror genre. Yes. Yeah, um, honestly, I, I think if. If you ask me, I think Alien Isolation is the best, one of the best games, and one of, the, probably the best horror game. Oh. Right. Get the fuck out of the water. Oh, you bitch. Sequel would be awesome. Yes. Yeah, I think it's been so long now, it's just not going to happen, though. God damn, I think, I think Alien Isolation came out in 2013, if I remember right. It was so long ago. Anyway, I think that crank is what I need to bring up the diving bell in the other section, so good thing I came this way. Uh, does this switch do anything? I don't know. Oh, I think they said they were going to do a... Not the same thing, of course, but I think they were going to do a sequel to Isolation in comic book form, but I don't know if they ever did that. I'll have to check. God, I've got enough comics to read through at the moment, anyway. Oh, you... Will you fuck off, you dickheads. This and didn't even have any goodies. Oh, wrong way. I'm just going to walk around with a shotgun at the ready now. Okay. Uh, is, it, is it too risky for me to walk around with the shotgun and using that on these enemies when there is a big boss later in the game? I might have enough ammo with my other weapons to make a difference, so maybe... While I can, perhaps I should just use the shotgun. Oh. 
don't know if I did a good thing or a bad thing there. Uh, maybe did a, a no thing. Oh, cool. Alright. Uh, we made it and uh, we know where we need to go. It's the next one up. I think. Oh, I think there is another shaft here. Yeah, there is. I can't remember where this leads, if anywhere. Winch start, okay, yeah. Um, oh, should we take a look, or should we just go to the place we need to go? We'll take a look. Uh, I suppose if we're not talking Alien Isolation, what would be the best horror game? And that's a question. Oh shit, <laughs> he almost went over there. Oh! Yeah. It turns out you do actually have to let it go at least a little bit to pick up momentum. We'll try it again. Yeah, th this is basically my memories of this level from when I've like played it last and years ago, just a lot of fucking minecarts and getting killed. Yeah, I agree, hard question. For sake. You have to get this so right. As I've said, like, before, the game is just so fucking unforgiving. Okay, I'm gonna try this again this one time, but then I'm gonna head to the other mine cart and do other stuff. If I have to pick, just off the top of my head, like a favourite horror game, it honestly might be the first Silent Hill. Ah, oh, you dickheads. Alright, okay. I'm just gonna head back up um, to the section we were at before and do the whole winch thing. Hopefully since we've like hit all the levers and stuff already we don't have to do that again. <sighs> what epic Silent Hill 1? Resident Evil Silent Hill Outlast. I haven't played Outlast mind, I've heard it's very good so who knows, that could be a contender if I play it. Oh, love the first Silent Hill. Like, the graphics aren't much to write about these days, but it's, um... God, oh, it's just thick of atmosphere and scares. Alright, that wasn't too hard.
something that might be a bit hard is this next section. So we've got to drop the diving bell down. It gives us a little section to sort of get out the water and recover a bit in, like deeper. But still a bit of a pain to get down there. Um, did it go down already? Because I didn't see it. Alright, I think it's already down there. I mean, you go in the dark as well, so it grows, sucks you in scary. Oh, yes. I have played those games in the dark. It's, it's, it's unnerving. Especially when I was living my own in this, like, um, slightly decrepit flat. <laughs> With one bedroom and no heating. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Oh shit, I was supposed to do a much more impressive jump there, but I guess we'll just do what we can. Get out the fucking water! Okay. Oh look, and a large medipack spontaneously spawned. Uh, I like most of the Silent Hill games. I think for me the first one probably is the scariest, the spookiest. Two has a lot of uh, really great artistic merit and some scary bits in it as well. And I think two is probably most people's favourite. It's definitely up there with me. Three, I don't find scary. I just like the game. I did save, didn't I? I hope I did. Because I think I'm about to die. Yeah. Shit. Don't tell me I don't actually have to come down here yet. Ugh, that is a possibility. Ah, fuck! I just have a horrible feeling I didn't have to come all the way down here. At least not yet. And I've wasted a bunch of health. Fuck's sake. Uh, maybe I need to start making more saves than uh, just the most recent one. Okay. Uh, Silent Hill 4, The Room, I like a lot. Even though it didn't start development as a Silent Hill game, I think it fits very nicely in there. Silent Hill Origins, I have not actually finished. It was okay. And that's about the most I can say about it. Uh, Silent Hill 6. Oh, wait. I can't remember if 6 was Shattered Memories or Homecoming. Whichever it was, I like Shadow Memories a lot. Like, it's a pseudo remake of the first game. But it does its own thing, which I really, really like. Homecoming, I have not finished either, and I got kind of bored with, if I'm honest. Uh, 
And Silent Hill 8, of course, was uh, Downpour, which was a lot of people's least favourite game. And I actually really, really like Downpour. I'll say this, it, it's not scary. Uh, like, uh, I'd say it's probably one of the least scariest of them. But, it's it's very good. I, I just really enjoy the story. I like the main character, Murphy, and there's some cool little sequences in it. And um, I didn't get around to playing PT before it was pulled, so that's unfortunate. I did watch some playthroughs, though, which were very cool. And I have not played the last one at all. Oh, what, Downpour. Yeah, I, I like it. I think it's quite an enjoyable game when you get into it. it it's... Not scary, so to say, and there's uh, there's some wonky bits in, but you know, for what it was, I had fun. And there's some fairly, like, open sections for exploration, which I quite like. And uh, there's also, like, little, uh, there's little Easter eggs to previous Silent Hill games in, which is cool. Oh, I've still got my copy for the PS3. I might uh, should maybe play it at some point. <sighs> Could I not have kept the crowbar from before? That would have been cool. Right, so I think we're going to have to just do this annoying mineshaft bit here again. So... Let's try and do it. sake. Right. All right. I'm gonna save a little bit into this journey again. I should have got some more water. <laughs> I'm running out of fluids. Okay, I'll save here. I'm just kind of curious will it flip me if I break here? Oh, it actually won't. Right, um, mm, how do I do this then? Tea time. Ah, only if it's non caffeinated. I'm on my caffeine purge. Right, I have a feeling I might have to just pull the brake. I have to pull it at some point down here, surely. Come on, you bitch! Huh. 
Okay, so there's not enough momentum there to get me over this little jump here. But maybe if I just pull the brake a little further up. Here, perhaps, maybe. Oh, there we go. Finally, definitely need to save that. Oh, look, he's on a fucking lever at the hit. Sounds like it's a mutant getting flamethrowered. Yep, okay, don't shoot the nice man with the flamethrower. Oh, oh hell. Glad I just saved. Oh. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, yeah. Should I... Save that um, out the cart. That was stupid. Of course, he can just walk right through them because I know he's magic. He's got flamethrow powers. You know. Ugh, I'm gonna have to just do this really fucking precise, aren't I? Oh, okay. Wasn't a bad move. Well done. Let's just see, where's this lead? Um, oh, oh! To my grave! Apparently I'm that mutant snack. Before I go over there, was there anything else up here I need to pay attention to? Maybe hidden secrets or something? Oh! Something hidden here. Ah, oh, flares! It's not like I have like 150 of those things already. Well, better with than without. Oh damn, it's already 9 o'clock. Okay, we've been streaming nearly an hour. Well, um... I know I keep saying this. It's uh, be mean to make this a short the one. I'll see if I can finish this level by, uh... In the next 20 minutes, half an hour or so. Alright, 
Yeah, that's definitely worth a save. Getting some good use out of that shotgun, huh? And there's f nothing in here. God, I'm always tempted to do that again just to save on the ammo. Uh, let's see, what's the safest way down this pit? Okay, we can just drop, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna load that again. Just from what I can tell, there's no, there's no real. Oops. <laughs> load that again. From what I can tell, there's no real reason I need to go in there. So we're fine. Let's just let's just jump out the way. Too much of a drop even for me. Oh, what's this? This is my third day of weaning myself off caffeine. Okay, no, that's that's not true. I'm not like weaning myself completely off caffeine. I'm still having caffeine. It's just Alright, I know I'm being cheap here, I'm just reloading. Because I really I didn't have to use that many shells. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not totally weaning myself off caffeine, I'm just cutting down. I'm like... <clears throat> Notice I was having about four cups a day, uh, so I'm cutting that down to like two at the moment. And honestly, it's taken some getting used to. I've been like really tired through the day sometimes, but... Yeah, no. It's, uh, it's good not to be... I was going to say, it's good not be addicted to that. I'm kind of somewhat a caffeine addict anyway. Do you know, once I get over the little lapses, like little moments where I am actually really tired, I think I'm fine. I just have to um, keep going. And hopefully it means when I do go to bed this evening, probably in about two hours, to be honest. I'm trying to get to bed earlier as well, because, you know, less caffeine, which means my... Well, you're always going to need to sleep anyway, because caffeine isn't a replacement for sleep, but I'm especially going to need to sleep more not taking it. So Yeah, I'm trying to get earlier nights now. Though I'm also trying to get earlier mornings as well, like, I'm gonna just make that a thing. Even on the weekends, I'm gonna try and be up around about 7 or just before. Turns out I did not have to go into there at all. <coughs> yeah, I think I just need to safely lower myself down. Okay, well there's an object down there I'm guessing I need to pick up. I don't know, there's one of those mutant freaks as well though. Oh! Well that's handy. Okay, and that's not an object, that is a lamp. The senior report GDA6 will be pushed back to the 2026 year production reportedly falling back. Jesus! Is that game. God, really high with a blasphemy at the night. I should maybe stop that. That game just getting. 
Is that is it ever gonna get released? Oh, what the hell? There should be something down here, surely. If not, then what is the point in this room? Uh, maybe there's a little crawl space here. <coughs> I'm not too much in the know, but is, is like Rockstar working on anything else? Or is it as far as I was aware, as far as I was aware, it was just GTA 6. Fuck me! You do the work, dude. Better than I am. Mr. Flamethrower, man. What the fuck did that mutant get me? Now I don't feel so bad about wasting a lot of time to, you know, conserve ammo packs and things. That's it, probably the only game they're wearing on these normal games to get pushed back these days as well, but GTA 6, GTA 6, fucking hell. When was 5 out again originally? Was it a decade ago? <coughs> Didn't mean lose my voice slightly. See a crowbar. I remember I do need one of those. Twenty thirteen, wow. Yeah, so over ten years. That's just crazy. Kinda of happy milking it. <laughs> With you know, all the uh, additional things in like GTA online. Which is you know kind of a separate game really but really should have something else in the works man okay that does not go anywhere up there <coughs> all right we're uh, one hour nine minutes into this now Uh, to try and pick up the pace a little bit. Hmm. 
How do I get around some of these areas? Oh, that was almost across. I don't have to jump down to that water for anything, do I? Uh, let's save. Mm, okay, there's a rocket here, but I don't think it's worth fucking loss of health for. Nope, when we're gonna die. Anything worthwhile there. How the fuck do I get out of this? There we go. Right, just have to work out how we get out of this room now. Oh, oh, okay, okay. This must be it. Cool. Um, I don't find doing that again, so I'm saving. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's a little tricky that. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't want to wipe out this is even the way out. Oh. Okay. Some progress, I bet. Yes, yes, I'm abusing, uh, abusing, I'm abusing the save feature. Oh shit, you fucking maniac. Oh. I thought for a second that was going to be a boulder coming down that way. I was like, oh, come on. Mercy, please. Oh. Uh, there's a big excavator thing. Uh, more than one of those. 
cool. So just more hazards for me to try and get by. Even approaching the way out. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay right here. What did we get? Crowbar, cool, cool. I know exactly where we need to go for that. That's an awful noise, isn't it? So we're going to have to do the leap and then immediately pull the brake. I think that's a good place to save. do the brake a little bit on the way down. We can still build some momentum. Oh! Ah! Oh, phew. I'm definitely saving that. Alright, we're coming up to yeah, one, tw one hour twenty. Oops, and I whacked myself in the head. What time are you doing your run tomorrow? First thing in the morning. Well, more or less, I'm going to have breakfast first. Um, so I'll probably have breakfast maybe around 7 o'clock. Um, maybe let the food sell for what? Half an hour to an hour, and then like... Try and leave before 8. So I'd like to get done sort of 11-ish or just after. And judging how fast I'll be going... Sorry. <laughs> judging by how long I will be going for the run, I will almost certainly be out for over 3 hours. Like maybe 3 hours 20, 3 hours 30. Yeah, you know, probably even longer as well because uh, it's going to be a bit windy again tomorrow according to the forecast, so I'm probably going to be out for a while, but if I can be done before lunch, that'll be nice.
And if I successfully do the run tomorrow, next week is going to be 32 kilometers. And then after that, we're probably going to be slowing down a bit. Lead acid battery. Hmm, but what is that for? I don't really remember what that battery's for. This is the one we need to go up, but we'll see. All right, I need to let that go a little bit longer. The thing I can think of is it's something in the room with the diving bell. Maybe it operates the door or something. Just seem to be something on the side there. Maybe that's where the battery goes. I'm hoping so, because I'd like to finish this level uh, very soon if possible, because you get off the stream and do other things. Don't do that, you fucking maniac. Then why is the diving bell back up here again? Didn't there a series coming out of the Penguin from Lee's Battle? Yes, the... Um, I heard there was. Didn't know if there was really any point in it, but yeah, yeah. Oh shit, is this a motherfucking glitch? I seem to remember this from originally playing Tomb Raider 3 as well. Some sort of glitch where you can lower the diving bell, but then if you leave the room again, it'll just go back up to the fucking top. I don't expect to survive this, I'm just checking out the area. Okay, it's not there. I trying to remember, there isn't really anything else to explore in these rooms. Oh, right, so there's our trail art for it now. I knew it was coming out, I just didn't know if it was, uh, when it was going to come out. I knew it was in development, anyway, because I heard, like, mention of it, um, maybe a couple of months ago. Because, uh, Colin Farrell was, uh, quite popular in the, ro the role, and I heard the plot something about him taking on, like, a protege and showing him the ropes of organised crime. Maybe I've missed something down here then. Oh, 
Though that minecart doesn't look like it's quite on correctly. Here we go again. Here we go again. Well, I'm not totally on my own. Have you guys watching? Wow, that didn't even stop this time. I wonder... Yeah, I quite like this portrayal as the penguin. Though I'm sure the fact that he was in like makeup and a fat suit was didn't please some people, certain activist groups. So I can't imagine this show is gonna impress those people either. I guess we'll just have to see if there is like any potential in it. I did like the movie. Alright, so I don't think there was anything of interest there at all. Where the hell am I supposed to go then? I know I've said this before, it's it's kind of crazy how little I remember of this level. There's nothing like super obvious here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's something out there. Pretty sure I can't jump that though. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. I know I said I was going to be off by now. In fact, I think I will get off in a minute. Just going to see if I can get through there. How's it going with you? Oh! Okay, maybe if I jump on top of the building, I can get out. Ah. And the answer to that is no, because I can't get out through there.
We really had seven guys do Penguin across all Bama and Conan down to Vivo is the best. Yeah. He wasn't wasn't quite comic book penguin, but I like Danny DeVito a lot in the role. That's um it's probably my favourite uh of the old Batman films actually, uh Batman Returns. Michelle Pfeiffer is just amazing in it. I really liked the um oh, I forget the actor's name, I really liked the guy in Gotham. Thanks for all, for all the um, issues and problems you can probably pick apart with Gotham, I do think it had some great actors as the playing the Batman's rule gallery. Like Penguin and uh, Riddler were just fantastic in that. <laughs> DeVito was great, his penguin made me feel icky. Yeah, he was uh, very gross. Yeah, I think that was just pretty much down to Tim Burton. Tim Burton is a fucking weird one. He has some, like, pretty cool ideas and things, but... He also has, has just super weird ideas. Robin Lord Taylor, yes, I liked him. Oh, Penguin and, yeah, Penguin and Riddler and Gotham were fucking great. And of course, um, uh, I forget his name, is it Cameron Monaghan? The uh, one who played the Joker in it? He is, honestly, I, I would like to have him as the Joker in a film. I saw the end of Riddler's arc. Uh, depends which one. He has a few, and he does actually. He does actually last until the end of the show. So, I think uh, Gotham ends a bit naff, and I, I, I don't think many people will disagree with that. But for a lot of it, really enjoyed it. Where the hell do I go? Fuck me. Now I'm gonna try to take one more, uh, one more cart ride, and then uh, I think I'll call it quits for tonight. Then pick it up tomorrow, even though I think we're honestly super close to the end of the level. I just can't think where that battery goes. I'm just hoping I haven't glitched something. I remember being so sad despite knowing who it would become if there was a season 2 after I can't remember. I think it went to 4 seasons but the 4th one was truncated a bit. Immortal dude with the flamethrower. Do you know where I need to go? Because I don't.
There's nothing here. And I've been in this section before. There's a monster in there, and I don't think there's anything else. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll, I'm gonna just do a tiny bit of exploration. But I do not think there is anything else to this section. Yeah, apart from a mutant, there is nothing in here. I've already killed the mutant. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to pull out the old um, strategy guide <laughs> just to check. As you know. Could be a glitch, just saying. Guy time. <laughs> I'd rather not if possible, but I'll, I'm just gonna quickly have a one more check around here just in case there was anything at all I've missed. Oh shit, don't do that. Damn, it really is getting cold in here. I wonder what the temperature's like tonight. I just feel like maybe it has just dropped a bit. Oh, guy with a flamethrower. Excuse me. Scuzzy. Alright, so we're back in this place again. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chill here, like I get the bed under the covers. I can't wait to get that bed. Yeah, I know I was gonna plan on going to bed at around eleven. I might even go to bed a bit earlier just to like really get the rest in. Yep, there is dick all here.
don't think there's anything around here. Nope. Ah, fuck. Almost had that. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh! That was bad though. It's warm in the living room, but chilly outside. Well, imagine so. It's always warm in the living room, it's where the reptiles live. And you know, there's also a little heater in there. Which is responsible for a good chunk of our electricity bills, but... You know. Helps keep the place warm. Damn it. It's probably a bit of a sad thing, but like one of the things I'm looking forward to with summer is just to, you know, cut down on the fucking energy. It's gonna leave like the heating and stuff off more. As well as the lights with the uh, lighter days. Pretty sure there was just nothing else to this place, but we're we're checking. Nothing else here. There's anything else to this place? Uh, okay. Up oh, this way.
And nothing. Okay. Well, I'm uh, pretty stuck, and I think we have honestly just explored all the other places around here. I hate to say it, but in case there is a glitch, uh, I am going to maybe check the PC magazine guide. I'm just going to get through to that other room first, because I think if there is absolutely anything at all, it's going to be um, with the other... <laughs> Damn. I think if it's going to be anything at all, it's going to be um, on the upstairs bit where the, the winch and the diving bell is. So I'm going to have a quick look there, another quick look around. If I don't see anything, we're just going to head back down. And it is way past what I was going to originally stream for. So we're going to get back to this area and then I'm going to save. I can tell there isn't anything else in this room. There's nothing over there except a bunch of flares. Ah, someone's playing Stardew Valley. Shit. Get out of the water, please. What the f what the fuck? I clicked on that before, it didn't do anything. Maybe it was just me. Or maybe it's a game. Despite the fact I love it, and after all these years, it's still a bit of a fucking buggy mess. What happened? Well, okay, so I went up to the crane that has the diving bell there. I clicked it and then it allowed me to put the battery in. But I swear I did that about half an hour ago when I first picked up the battery and it didn't do anything. So maybe my. Maybe I was just a little bit off on the hit detection or something. But anyway. Since we do seem to be making some progress, at least, I'll not resort to using the guide. Let's just get into this diving bell. Apparently not quick enough. You mean me playing Stardew Valley? No, I don't think I was referencing that. That story started just supposed to leave me at the end of the day in Star Trek. I don't think I saved it, so I have to replace Ah, that sucks. Right, 
let's just uh, warm up in here for a bit. Get the body temperature up. And then hopefully finish this game by the two hour mark. Well, finish this level, I mean. I think there's still a couple of levels left. There's at least uh, one more full level, I think. And then um, the final sort of boss stage. And then we're uh, then we're out the trilogy. Oh yeah, yeah, that was you, of course. Laura, get out of the fucking water! So it's been a lot of having to play the entire game of hockey. Oh god, yeah, that happened to you. Something weird happened with the game and you lost all your party hard progress and had to start from the beginning. That's crazy. At least it's a fun game, but frustrating. Start twice. <sighs> okay, so this is a little bullshit mechanic I've mentioned before, and it's one thing I don't like about some of these games, especially this one. There'll be times where you will just lose health, like this the stretch of water was too long, that there's no way of swimming it without losing health. And likewise, the sections of the game where you you have to fall from a certain height, which will cause health loss. I find shit like that just really fucking cheap. And it irritates me. Because it just seems to, like, punish you. Needlessly. Oh, so we're not quite out of here yet, huh? We must be nearly to the end, though. But we are very nearly to the end. Just have to deal with some mutants. Oh, and I got poisoned. Cool. Ugh. Well, at least we've got to the ruins. There's the Easter Island heads. Oh hey, you might actually be able to finish this level without needing to go up on health. Hey, finally! By the way, the extended version of this uh, tune is beautiful on the um, the orchestral version of the soundtrack. Ah, I did it! Finally! This cost me so much health though. <laughs> Such a pain in the arse. Yeah, but that's gonna be that's gonna be it for the night. Let me just save the game.
I'm just going to check the save file, actually. Lost City of Tinos. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's this level, and then there's the boss battle in the next one. But, uh, anyway, I've been on this a bit longer than planned today, to be honest. And I need to, you know, rest, relax, and then I've got to do a big, big run in the morning, and then everything else I've got to do in the house, chores, etc. And I'm chilling. I want to go into the warmer room. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts from earlier, because I was... Um, Supposed to go to the gym first thing in the morning. So, I was wearing my shorts and a t-shirt. The idea was to go to the gym. Shower, change, but then... Didn't get to the gym on time, so I just had to go straight to work. Managed to get to the gym kind of on my lunch break. But then, had to head to work again, didn't have time to change, so... I, um... I've just been in my t-shirt and shorts all day, and I should probably do with a shower, but that's me for this level of the game. you got to see my leg, bonus feature, my very pale, pasty, white man leg. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll resume this game probably on Monday, uh, but tomorrow, uh, the plan is in the afternoon, we've got uh, Star Wars Saturday and then Star Juice Sunday. Anyway, thanks everyone who's watching uh, live and on the catch up. Uh, thank you for people who have spoken to us today. <laughs> Those big coughs, so thank you. Uh, thank you to Maria and uh, thank you to Darren for jumping in for the chat. But this has been uh, Monadrew. Thank you very much for watching and have a good night.